How you doing, darling? There you go. What am I gonna call you? What's the right name for someone as special as you? Okay, Strick. It's time. Yes, boss. Drop my book. Mr. Elmer Strick, since you have declined to have anyone present to speak on your behalf, do you have anything you would like to say? No. What I did was wrong, in the eyes of the law, that is. You were a licensed pharmacist. You had the knowledge and understanding that the right combination of drugs would lead to death, did you not? I knew what I was doing. Out of some fanciful conviction that it was merciful? There was no other way. I just couldn't watch her suffer anymore. A apparently, you have been a model prisoner here, Mr. Strick. And ordinarily, this board would be sympathetic to an appeal for a parole. However, it has uh, come to our attention that after a confrontation with another inmate named Frank Kowalski, uh, you contaminated his medication, causing a life-threatening episode of increased heart rate and a drop in blood pressure. What? No. I never had any beef with Polish Frank. There must be some... I have here a signed affidavit from Corrections Officer Butcher Bunk Dill stating that you, Mr. Strick, said you were, quote, gonna get even with Polish Frank right after said confrontation. You had motive and opportunity since you work in the prison clinic where medications are dispensed. I'm sorry, Mr. Strick, but uh, given this new information, parole is declined. What kind of mama's boy does such a thing anyway, Strick? Some kind of deranged prevert? Damn it. Never would have done something more like that to my mom. Even though she was nothing but a drunk whore who beat me all the time. Hey, spider boy. Thought you were just gonna skate out of here, huh? Hey, you shut your hole, Frank. Find nothing, okay. boss. Set the stupid pets. Oh, my darlings, look at you. Get over here. Okay, Strick. I'm sick and tired of your excuses. Where is it? I told you, boss. You're gonna have to wait a little longer. Listen here, Strick. You're the only one in this godforsaken place who can make opium from that shit. Those animals in the yard are getting twitchy. Makes me nervous when they get twitchy. We can't keep enough supply on the shelves as it is, let alone do a cook. I really don't give a shit. End of the week, boss. Dr. Carnaby says he's getting a shipment in tomorrow. He leaves early on Fridays. I'll start a cook as soon as he does. You better if you know what's good for you. Remember what happened last time you were late? You piece of crap. Get out of here. Let's go. Is everyone okay in here? Sorry for the upset. Yeah. Hope they didn't frighten you too much. Those boys have no respect for nature. Oh. Don't those things creep you out, Elmer? Uh. Spiders don't bite unless they're threatened, Willis. 
Did you know that there are over 25 million tons of spiders in the world, Willis? Uh, well, my old lady probably say that at least a ton of them in our barn. Always after me to get the pest guy out. Oh, you sh shouldn't do that, Willis. Spiders are essential workers. They consume over 800 tons of prey each year. They've survived every extinction event since time began. And they're intelligent too, did you know that? Oh, well, um, never really gave me much thought of them. This one's a lover, not a fighter. Ancient men. I named them men after the Egyptian god of fertility. They worshiped spiders, the ancient Egyptians did. Believed they possessed the means for eternal life. These are men's harem. I call that one Grace because of her delicate web. And this one next to her I call Azrael, after the Hebrew angel of death. And then there's Izanami, after the Japanese goddess of the underworld, and Hecate, the goddess of witchcraft and magic. Are they poisonous? Only if you're their prey. I've been collecting spiders since I was a boy, Willis. They were the only friends I had growing up. I've always been fascinated by them. I've written several articles about them for the Rachnophile Annual. I'm kind of a celebrity in that world. I know everything about how they hunt, how they mate, how they kill. Their venom contains thousands of peptides that paralyze and disable their prey. I was researching a a way to produce super concentrated venom which I could synthesize to relieve someone's pain. Unfortunately, I ran out of time. Uh, I heard about the parole here, and I, I'm sorry, Elmer. Listen, I'm not blind. Now, I know you're not like the rest of the guys in here, Elmer. Okay? Life can be rough for someone like you. Let's just say I'm painfully aware, Willis. You let me know if there was a, uh, there was anything hanky going on, right? Of course. <sighs> All right. Yep. Yeah, I almost, almost forgot. Mailroom said this came for you today. Mail. Hey, watch your back, Elmer. Eyes wide open, boss. Dear Mr. Strick, I have admired your work for some time. The ancients would have been most impressed with your research. I found the enclosed in an old library in Cairo, Egypt. I hope it's what you've been looking for. Open the road. No, wait. Path. Yes. Path, not road. Open the path. Oh, great, majestic, with your wondrous, wondrous, no, no, precious, yes, precious, not wondrous, with your precious nature. Goodness, I've forgotten, haven't I? Apologies, my little friend. Uh, don't slide on the parchment. Uh. Okay, everyone. It's supper time. Nice and fresh. Collected from the yard just this morning. There you are. Yes. Ah, yes. For you, my friend. Ha. Ah. Ah. Ooh. Oh. And for you, my darling, something special. 
In you go. who you are, Sakmet, mistress of dread, she whom none can escape. What's your name? <sighs> Come to me, O oh great majestic. Fill me with your precious nature. Transform my soul. I won't be long now. Sorry, Mr. Strait. There's nothing we can do. The cancer has spread throughout your mother's entire body. Stopped on the way home from work. Look, your favorites. Gardenias, roses. You know how much I love you, don't you, Mom? You're the smartest, most beautiful woman I've ever seen. You are still. It's the light inside you, Mom. Your body's failed you, but your spirit still shines. I'm gonna take away your pain, okay, Mom? I know it's uh, how you want to go. It's time to end the suffering. I'm gonna set your spirit free. Get in here. It's good to have friends in high places. The dispensary got more supply this morning. Your supervisor, Dr. Carnaby, he told us himself. <laughs> Bunk thinks you're playing him. <laughs> Do a little distributing on your own, huh? Trying to make a little side cash? I told Officer Do, end of the week. You have to have patience. I am so tired. I'm being fucking patient with you. So Dill sent me here to give you a little incentive. Stay focused. <laughs> <laughs> have shit like that in here anyway. Bullet, hold him tight. I'm gonna go do the rest of them. <laughs> These things give me the creeps. They're all fat and hairy. <laughs> Jesus. They stink. Ah! 
What in the glorious fuck is going on here? What is spiders bit me? Boss! God, that thing wrapped me right in the eye. Fucking blood, Eric. He was gonna kill her. She was just defending herself. He had no right. You got no right. You got no right to have the goddamn things in here. I'm poisonous. What the hell's going on in here? One of Strick's goddamn spiders got loose. Bit Polish Frank in the eye while he's sleeping. I came upon the scene in order to Strick tell me what happened. That's a lie! He tried to kill them all for no reason. They're just innocent spiders. They wouldn't hurt anyone. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm Mary Talia. This man needs to get to the infirmary right away. Let's go. Come on. Keep your fucking mouth shut or I'll blind the other eye. That goes for you too, asshole. Shut the fuck up! You didn't die in vain, Nin. They'll find out. You want to tell me what really just went down in here, Alma? I told you, boss. Bullet and Polish Frank wanted to kill my spiders. I tried to fight them off. Okay. Come on, let's go get that finger bandaged up. I'm sorry to have to say it, but I think we've been dull as your hobby long enough, Elmer. I'm convinced after last night's episode, morale has been adversely affected. I have no choice. Tomorrow, first thing, cell block C is to be evacuated until the pest control company can complete their fumigation services. Move the inmates to A and D block where they can double or triple up if need be till I deem it safe to return. Is that understood? Sir, A and D block are dangerously overcrowded as it is. Would you prefer poisonous spiders Roman C block instead, Officer Willis? I'm sorry, Elmer. If there's anything left after they get done gassing the joint, I'll make you get down on your knees and eat what's left, spider boy. Everyone all right in there? Look, we don't have much time. They're coming for you tomorrow. I won't let them hurt you, I promise. But we're gonna have to act fast. Come to me, O oh great majestic. Fill me with your precious nature. Transform my soul. Open the path to my resurrection. Open the path to my perfection. Hail to thee, O oh great majestic. Come to me and consume my soul. Oh. 
Hail to thee, O great majestic. Come to me and consume my soul. Hail to thee, O great majestic. Come to me and consume my soul. Rick, you little shit. It's just you and me now. I'm gonna remind you who runs a show around here. And you're gonna get down on those bony knees of yours and let me do it for as long as I want. What in the shit? How is he? What the? You freaking kidding me? Shit! Like something literally sucked his insides out. Where's the helmet? No sign of him. 